Good evening. I'm Anna Chavez. And I'm Dave McElhadden. A manhunt is going on in the Bay Area tonight for an escaped killer convicted of murdering a teenager six years ago in Antioch. He overpowered a guard in Stockton and may be headed this way. Manuel Ramos is in Contra Costa County now with more on the story. Manny? Well, Mac, police in this area have good reason to believe that Manuel Walker will return to the scene of the crime. And they're on the lookout for him. In the meantime, they were doing all they could to make sure he didn't leave the Stockton area. And the police dog down there, if there's anybody down there, he will be bitten. Give yourself up if you're in the basement. Police went into this duplex looking for the escape killer after someone saw the door was ajar. <laughs> 21 year old Manuel Robert Walker may still have on the handcuffs and belly chain he was wearing when he escaped from a security van yesterday. Police weren't taking any chances. This inside is the police. Yeah. We will be releasing a police dog inside. If you are inside, please give yourself up. Tell you what. In Antioch, people are scared that Walker might come running back home. Just in case they came across the escapee during their morning walk, these two women decided to bring along their Doberman pincher, Mello. Yeah, it's scary, but like I said, we have our dog, so that makes us feel a little more confident. Mm -hmm. The crime shook up the Delta town back in March of 1990. 15-year-old Ricky Martinelli was stabbed to death, and his 15-year-old friend of two weeks, Manuel Robert Walker, was seen standing over the body his clothing drenched in blood. Martinelli's body was found in this drainage ditch. His throat was slashed, and he'd been stabbed eight times, in the stomach and in the chest. The motive? Walker apparently wanted the victim's pager. Walker was convicted of first-degree murder and has spent the last six years in the California Youth Authority. The news that he was out and could be about frightened some people. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no. Walker was convicted of first-degree murder and has spent the last six years in the California Youth Authority. Walker is described as a light-complected Hispanic. He has a large tattoo on his back with the numbers 415 and the Roman numerals for the number four. They may be a Northern California gang symbol. Authorities say Walker may be coming back to Contra Costa County based on the letters and phone calls he's made since he's been in prison. So it's clean. Is it clean? Yeah, clean. Now, we were told that Walker's father still lives in Antioch. We don't know what happened to his mother. But at the time that he was convicted, she seemed to be blaming herself for what had happened. And she warned other parents to spend more time with their children. Reporting live, I'm Manuel Ramos. All right, thank you, Manny. The man in custody for one of the Bay Area's most notorious crimes has managed to free himself from a powerful security device. Richard Allen Davis is on trial for the kidnap and murder of Molly Class, as you know. But starting today, he is not required to wear the 50,000-volt security monitor that controlled his every move. Len Ramirez shows us why. All right, I'm not satisfied with that, so I'm going to tighten it down just a little bit more. Okay. The device is commonly called a stun belt, and after you see what happens to police officers who volunteered to try it in this training video, you'll understand why. Named the REACT belt by its manufacturer, the device shoots thousands of volts of electricity through a prisoner's body by a remote activator for a period of eight seconds. Just before it goes off, the belt beeps a warning. The San Jose Police Department has been using the belts primarily for the transportation of violent prisoners. This is capable of sending out a signal which will react to this for a distance of 300 feet. Uh, we never let our prisoners get that far away from us, obviously, but if a, a prisoner becomes agitated or starts to run away from maybe the transportation officer, all we have to do is activate it here by pushing this rocker arm here, and that will start the pulsation to go through, and it incapacitates them. It usually knocks them down. The belt is a modern, more effective alternative to iron shackles that law enforcement...